Steve Bannon over next week's Alabama Senate runoff. The Breitbart chairman is backing former state Supreme Court Justice Roy Moore, while the president is going all in for the incumbent, Senator Luther Strange. Now, the president and Vice President Pence both set to campaign, in fact, for the former state attorney general. The president also tweeting his support, writing, quote, Alabama is so lucky to have a candidate like Big Luther Strange, smart, tough on crime, borders and trade, loves vets and military. Tuesday. Joining me now, Alabama Senator Luther Strange. Hey, look, first of all, welcome to you. And uh, any tweet of praise from the president is huge. He's tweeted you, I believe, four times, right? Three times this week, one time on Saturday. Um, certainly getting you a lot of attention in this Republican runoff race, um, which many might not have paid so much attention to. Uh, why should the American public care about this election? Well, I think it's a, it's a critical election, frankly, if we're going to uh, have someone in Washington who helped the president pass his agenda. And, you know, Julia, Alabama was at the forefront of helping the president get elected. Uh, we love the president in Alabama. We want to see his agenda passed. And the short time I've been in Washington, we've sort of bonded with some of the challenges that we both have been frustrated with, the lack of progress, lack of ability to solve problems. I've got a record of taking on the tough challenges. He certainly does. And so I've really appreciated his personal friendship and obviously his willingness to come here in Alabama, to Alabama in the midst of everything he has going on, the campaign for me. Uh, I couldn't be happier, and I think it will send a strong message to the voters. President Trump values loyalty, obviously, and when you're loyal to him, he will back you all the way. And President Trump had originally actually backed Representative Mo Brooks in the primary, and now he's gotten behind you 100 percent. How did you gain his support? Well, you know, I think it's just because we developed a personal friendship of trust and uh, respect. Um, I respect his background, his, what he's trying to do, the challenges he's taking on. And I think he recognizes that in my background. I've, uh, I've, uh, I've literally drained the swamp in Montgomery convicting a Republican Speaker of the House. Didn't win me any friends, but that's what you have to do mm -hmm. if you're really going to make a difference. Uh, and so I think we've just got a personal relationship, and he needs a partner in Washington desperately. Okay, so to further explain to our viewers at home on background, you were appointed earlier this year to fill the open Senate seat, of course, left by Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Uh, in the primary, though, neither you or your appoint opponent, Roy Moore, uh, actually managed to garner the 50 percent of the vote uh, against Mo Brooks. Uh, do you think you'll have the votes to win? I do. I think this is going to be a ground game effort now. The polls are almost meaningless at this point. Uh, it's who gets their voters out to the polls. And the fact that the president's coming in and the vice president on Monday night, uh, to have the president and the vice president say, this is the guy we need in Washington because we can work with him. He's effective uh, and he understands how to get things done. I think that's going to be the difference in the race. I really do. Okay, so then let's talk about your opponent, uh, former state Supreme Court Justice Roy Moore, who, by the way, we are trying to get a hold of in order to have an interview with him before the election on the 26th. But he does have a bit of controversy surrounding him. He was kicked off the bench in 2003 for refusing a federal court order uh, to remove a statute uh, of the Ten Commandments from court grounds. Voters reinstated him in 2012. Then he was kicked off the bench again in 2016, and this one is a bit controversial, uh, for refusing to abide by the U.S. Supreme Court's decision to allow gay marriage. Now, in the red state of Alabama, how are you campaigning against Moore and specifically against his background? Well, I believe strongly in the Ten Commandments. Uh, I agree with him on that issue. I agree with him on the right. traditional marriage, and I've defended that in the court. So we don't disagree on those issues. It's just who's going to be effective. Um, he's been totally ineffective, and both the jobs that he's had have been removed from office. And we need someone who can accomplish things. And I've accomplished lots of things uh, as AG and as the Senate. Uh, and that's what the president, I think, is supporting me. He wants somebody who can get things done. We don't need any more speeches. We don't need any more symbolic protest. We need results, whether it's Obama care, uh, building the wall, uh, tax relief, which we've talked about, uh, infrastructure reform, all the things the president wants to get done. He knows he'll have a partner in me. And it's strong for the state of Alabama to have a senator with a close personal relationship with the president of the United States. That's good for us, and I'm proud we have that. He wants to get things done, obviously, so he wants the right people in place in order for Republicans to actually get anything significant done, which they've failed to do so far, specifically uh, repealing and mm -hmm. replacing Obamacare. Um, when he praises you, he talks about how you're tough on crime, and he also talks about borders. Anyone who's tough on borders is 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 a game winner as far as <laughs> President Trump is concerned. What is it about borders and your stance on immigration uh, that most attracts President Trump to your policy? 
Well, you know, my opponent and I are campaigning to take the seat of Jeff Sessions, who is a strong believer in the rule of law and secure borders. That was one of the key issues in the election. My opponent, I'm not surprised he won't come on your show because when he was asked recently what DACA stood for, his position on DACA, he didn't even know what it was. He said, I don't know what you're talking about. The signal key issue. Well, the if we get him on the show, we'll ask him. <laughs> I wish he would. He's not, uh, he's not interested in answering questions. He just doesn't know the issues. But the immigration issue is critical. And uh, having, as Attorney General, along with other conservative AGs, we stopped President Obama's illegal amnesty plan in court. Uh, the president knows uh, I can get results there. And uh, that's why he's supporting me. All right. Uh, Senator, thank you very much for talking to us. We really appreciate it. Good luck. And we'll work on your thank opponent. You very much. Hopefully, we'll talk to him thank before you. the election. But good luck. That election, 26th, September 26th, uh, next Get Tuesday. Out and vote.